it is August 17th, 2023. This is my like second video with this camera and I cannot believe how HD it is. And this is a muscadine grape I have here. This is a wild one. And this is how big most of them are in the wild. Some of them will be smaller, but when, okay, now it doesn't want to focus. Okay. When they are ripe, they'll have a black skin with little dots like this. They might have some scratches on them, but as long that's just from it growing. And let me bite into it. Give me a phone. It's in here. <laughs> Hold on. Interrupting for Pokemon Go purposes. Just take the bag. <laughs> Hold on. I'm. I'm, tr I'm. Okay. This muscadine, wild muscadine in particular, is really good. It has a really sweet skin that has uh, grapey flavor all on its own. But unlike most grapes, muscadines have thicker skins and then a really thick flesh on the inside. So let me eat the rest of the skin quick. Damn it. All right, I dropped this on the ground and I'm not doing a five second roll with it. But this is the inside of the grape. So now I'm just gonna get my hands really dirty and squeeze out the seeds. So there's the flesh. I can just go over there for a bird to eat. And here is the seed for the muscadine. They do have seeds. It's because they're wild. That's literally how they reproduce and don't go extinct. Um, this last two I just ate just had one seed each. I think sometimes they'll have two, but they're... I actually don't know if you can eat grape seeds. I mean, I assume you can, but you can just spit them out and plant them. And uh, this plant is at the Georgia Southern University's Armstrong campus. We're like on the little path now. I'll just make a separate video showing you the exact spot of the plant, but it's over that way. All right, bye-bye.